I'm Mikoya from Royal Star Academy. Me and my friend Steven and Tisha are going to present to you our biotech watch. Our biotech watch consists of a component called biosensor. What is biosensor? Biosensor is an analytical devices that measure biological and chemical reaction. Other than that, it allows the detection for biological and chemical element such as microorganism. After knowing what is biosensor, let's talk about what is found in biosensor. Biosensor is a combination of five different parts of component. First component, analyte. Analyte is a substance of interest that is used for detection. Second component is the bioreceptor. Bioreceptor is a molecule that specifically recognizes the analyte. In this case, it's the virus and the bacteria. The third component is the transducer. Transducer convert the bioreceptor event into measurable signal. And next is the electronic. Electronic process the transduce signal and prepared for display. Lastly, is the display. Display generates the result of the biosensor in graphic, numerical, or image form on the screen of the watch. Now we know that nanomaterial are an important part of the biosensor. So, do you know what is a nanomaterial is? A nanomaterial are chemical substance or material that are man-made. They are used at a very small scale and are measured in nanometer. They are approximately 100,000 times smaller than the diameter of human hair. As we know, biosensors are powerful and innovative analytical devices. Do you know where biosensors are being used? Biosensors are being used in many different ranges, such as diabetes glucose surveillance, pathogen discovery, diseases detection, and detection of pollution. Now, what can a biosensor detect? A biosensor can detect the following things, which are bacteria, viruses, nucleoaxis, proteins, cells that are associated with disease, and pathogen in food. In our watch, we are focusing on the detection of pathogens in the air. And you may ask, how are we going to insert the biosensor into the watch? We will insert the biosensor microchip on the right side of the watch. As you may see, this rectangular chip port is where you are going to insert the biosensor microchip inside and the biosensor will start performing. How does this process of detection actually work? Well, it fills the air in the surrounding through anti ventilation holes located on the side of the watch and through a tube which connects the ventilators and the biosensor. Next, the analyte will then pass through for detection, and if there is a detection of an unknown pathogen, the bioreceptor will then further investigate this type of pathogen detected in the air. And after that, the transducer will take this collected information and convert them into signals, and this signal will be processed and displayed on the screen, therefore notifying the user about the details of this pathogen in the air. In addition, the watch also alerts the user by using the color strips on the wristbands. These color strips has three different colors, red, blue, and green. And these colors represent three different stages. The red stage means if the biosensor has detected a highly threatening pathogen. The blue stage means it has detected a mildly threatening pathogen. And the green stage means the air is pathogen free. There are other ways to know about the pathogen in the air without being present in the area. One way is to install biosensors into public areas like a mall or in government corporate buildings and then uploading that information onto a website where citizens are able to view the data collected. Other than that, users can also upload their own data that has been stored on the watch onto the media thus covering a wider range of areas. So, how exactly can this cut the COVID-19 pandemic? With the data collected from our watches and the built-in biosensors in buildings, we would know beforehand what type of pathogens are found in that area. With this information open to the public, we can avoid that area and get proper authorities to disinfect it. Moreover, if we know we had any sort of contact with this virus, it will enable us to take early precautions and limit our socialization with others, like self-quarantine. Therefore, it reduces the spread of the virus and ensures a better recovery.